asking your opinion uh, what is the uh, Prabhakaran's role in the 10 years national movement? Uh, you know, although Prabharan has been uh, seen as the main protagonist in this whole struggle, he was not the uh, person who was instrumental. Because the most of the demands that are now put forward in this struggle actually in fact began in the 1950s, 60s and 70s, long before Prabharan's time. So we can see Prabharan's role as a single uh, most dedicated leader who gave uh, voice and form to the demands that were put by the leaders of the Tamil political movement in the 50s, 60s and 70s. So he did not articulate it, it was articulated before, but he gave form for that. And afterwards also his role becomes very significant in the context of the various uh, forces, international forces, that uh, took a place within the struggle and the whole movement, like the role of India and United States and the other, other international forces that may come into play, where it is very difficult for the groups here to take a neutral position, to go single-mindedly uh, focused on their goals. We saw a lot of the groups that, you know, went off the mark because they were then agents for some agenda or the other. But as far as Tamil people are concerned, we see Prabhara as a person who was single-mindedly committed to the cause and he has pursued this no matter what. And for that, he will be respected always. And uh, there's a belief among the majority of uh, majority of actors, single uh, people, and uh, now the government also believes uh, that uh, if Prabhakaran will be uh, defeated or assassinated uh, in this war, then uh, this uh, ethnic crisis can be solved. Not 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 the ethnic crisis, but the war can be uh, end. So, what is your opinion in this belief? Uh, start like this. Prabharan is not an obstacle to solving the ethnic crisis. You know, as ordinary Tamil people, we are asking the government and the South to put forward a solution that we can accept. That a solution that has uh, been formed as a, uh, as a consensus document. Mm -hmm. But up to now, there has never been a consensus document. Whatever the ruling party proposed, the opposition opposed. Right? So they never got together to offer anything to the Tamil people. Forget about Prabhakar. Never offered anything to the Tamil people wholeheartedly together that we can accept. Even now, the position within the uh, parliament is that they need a two-thirds majority to pass any solution through. They did not even fully implement the 13th Amendment. It was so flawed, which the Sinhala South doesn't know. The Sinhala public in the South, they don't know that the flaws in the 13th Amendment, that it was not fully implemented. Even to fully implement these, uh, these clauses, the Sri Lankan government, the Colombo government was uh, incapable of doing that. So Prabhaharan is not the problem. Secondly, I want to say, if, okay, in the hypothetical situation of Prabharan being defeated or killed, it doesn't solve the Tamil's problems. So what, what is the South or the people thinking about that they will force anything down the throats of the Tamil people? I don't think so. And I don't think it's acceptable to us. We need a just and equitable solution to our problems. Uh, now the government is going to present the 13th amendment as the solution for this uh, crisis. So what is the general uh, opinion of the, among the Tamil people with regard to this? Actually, if you really look at all the clauses of the 13th amendment, it's a very progressive legislation. Mm -hmm. It's something that we have in our hand. Mm -hmm. But this is something that should have been done in perhaps 1995 by Chamlika. Mm -hmm. Just implement it fully. Get all those concurrent issues sorted out and devolve power 
completely to the provincial council system. They were not prepared to do that, right? But now coming back into the 13th Amendment, then we would ask for various other clauses to be added. We would ask for the removal of the concurrent clause. Mm -hmm. We would also ask for autonomy for the provincial councils to also negotiate aid and their development programs. Then their powers over land is insufficient within the 13th Amendment, which is also coming under the concurrent uh, clause. Mm -hmm. So we would ask for all those amendments. But 13th Amendment is good. But who has the political will to sincerely implement that? This, is, this has been the problem throughout.